Hi everyone! In this video, let's take a look at creating an org chart for a small company, such as a paper sales company. Let's call this company Ouija Paper. I hope you know that there are several options for building an org chart structure, but I'm going to stop at the classic hierarchical structure. You can read a little more about the other types of structures in the article. The link's in the description. So, we have a company named Ouija Paper. Let's create a board with the same name. Then we will create employee cards on the board adding contact information, job title and photo. Well, here we go. At the head of the company, of course, we have a CEO. Let his name be David Buckley. The only contact information we're going to have is a phone number and email address. I'm putting this data from my imagination, but you should put your employees real contact information. Here we upload David's photo place the contact information at your convenience. Huh? I prefer putting the title first, then the name, the contact information and the photo at the end. Let's set a green color for the card of the most senior director. Assigning various color schemes to different departments of your company may be helpful. For example, accounting employees will have a yellow card color and salesmen will have blue. It's up to you. Okay, okay. the job structure continues with the regional manager. Make him a blue card Let's call him Michael Carell. Put his contact information and upload a photo. I forgot to tell you that for the optimal display of photos in the structure and cards, it's best to make PNG images of the same size without a background. Let's say we have outlined the management. By the way, you can have significantly more regional managers depending on the size and scope of your company. And accordingly, each regional manager may have their own staff. So by displaying everyone on the board, you can see the real size of the company and easily navigate through the employees and the branches they work in. Okay, let's move on to the staff. Starting with the main employees, salespeople. You can simply add employee cards and mark the sales department with a certain color. I will make a kind of hat header for that department. Later, I'll just stretch this card across the width of the list of employees. I associate this, this header with the manager. Now we create another employee card. In the sales department, they will all be blue. The first one is for Dwight Wilson. He is a salesman and a manager's assistant. Let's specify his contact information and upload a picture. For easier visual perception, you can add emoji that characterize the contacts. This is what it might look like. To create cards quickly, I can duplicate a card I've already created and just change the contact information. Right, I will have five employees in the sales department. So I make four duplicates of the first card and change the data in them. There you go. The sales department is ready. Stretching out the header with the name of the department. I use the same principle to do the accounting department. I only have three employees here. Alternatively, you can add links to your employee social media profiles to their contact information, if that's something your company practices. Now, I'm adding a purchasing manager. This and the following employees will not be tied to any particular department, so I just place the cards without the header associated with the manager. Next, I add a quality control specialist, customer service, HR manager, and of course, the secretary named Pam. Pam, Pam, Pam. You can also add a freelance salesperson, a field one. Basically, our org chart is ready. 
In addition to employee cards, you can add some documents or media files. For example, it can be a job description, uh, the file can be different for each department. To summarize, it's safe to say that Ouija is great for creating org chart of any design and size. The service is easy to manage, yet it has a wide range of features. Try it for yourself. This is where I say goodbye to you until the next video. Please note the links to useful materials in the description. Bye!